Hi guys and welcome to Brooke's car. We are on our way to Magic Kingdom. We just had a great breakfast from Sizzlers, which I'd never been before, and um, Brooke has educated me on it. It's basically like you get an entire breakfast buffet for $8. It's really good. It's really good. Like, I mean, the food's not mind-blowing, but you get full, and it's like a fraction of what something at Disney would be. And then we don't need lunch, which is great. Exactly, so we're saving money already. Yeah. We're on our way to Magic Kingdom. We have a couple of really good fast passes later today. Rope drop. Rope drop. We haven't done rope drop yet this year, mm -hmm. so that is exciting. Yeah, exactly, and we're just gonna see what happens throughout the day. We probably won't stay till park close, because we both have work tomorrow, mm -hmm. but we're just probably gonna hang out until we get bored with it. Hey Paige, so uh, what'd you do? I forgot my uh, main gate and my both my magic bands at home today. So what do you have to do? Number three. Nice. At least this one's a pretty color though. So yeah, I mean, your others are pretty too. Clear of the door. So, tip of the day, we're currently the only ones in this monorail car as park is about to open in like 20 minutes. Because we took the resort monorail, uh, the actual direct monorail to Magic Kingdom, the lineup's over there, it's packed, it is like person to person, and this takes us to Magic Kingdom too in just about the same amount of time. So, always take the resort monorail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a couple people. And we have entered at 8.59. The park has now opened. They are letting people into all the lands. We are sweating it up because we had to wait in the sun to actually get in. Uh, but we are on our way to Space Mountain. 15 minutes minus the 10 minutes they've had us baking in the heat out here before they even opened the lineup. 45 minutes in line now. So much for rope drop fastness. This is not what I'm used to. Usually a rope drop, you walk in and it takes five minutes to get on, and it's fine. Uh, but Space Mountain has uh, messed up quite a bit today. Okay, let's finally do this. And now it's time for the laugh floor because it is hot as hell out here and we are not waiting outside for anything else. Chantel, I need you to think of a number between 1 and 50 to have that number in your head. Mm -hmm. Very good, I want you to tell that number to the audience so they will know when I get it correct. But don't worry Chantel, I will close my eyes so I cannot hear you. <laughs> so. Have you told the audience your number? Yes. I need you to place your hands on the side of your head. Now get half the number. <laughs> Both hands. Now turn your fingers into antennas. <laughs> See, you've done this before, Chantel, that's good. <laughs> The wildest ride in the wilderness and the hottest queue in the wilderness. We are just standing in the Briar Patch gift shop and I'm not sure if you can see how bad my face is, but we are just sweating. It's terrible. We don't know why. We, do. we just can't adapt to the heat this year. It's me and Paige both. Like, it's not just one of us. It's both of us. We are dying. We are more soaked in sweat right now than some of the people coming off the splash mat. It's gross. It's making us feel gross and disgusting. And it's just honestly not a fun time. This whole morning has been kind of a little bit of a disaster, to be completely honest. It's been hot. It's been sweaty. We haven't gotten on the rides we've wanted to. It's just been, like, kind of not that great. Um, the temperature has just put a huge damper on literally everything and it just kind of isn't going that great. Sweet, sweet air conditioning. Sam, look at the Jungle Cruise Fast Pass line. What the heck? We love a good fast pass. When you look around, we've got those big ones, those are giraffes. Those striped ones, those are zebras. I've never seen those things before, they must be new. Now over here we do have those lions babysitting that sleeping zebra. One million rocks on that beach. It's a lot of rocks, so I'll let you guys marvel at that one for a moment. Sound good? We're there. And we are now approaching my favorite part of our tour. Believe it or not, we are home to the eighth wonder of the world. Everybody put your hands together. We're a little early for our fast pass.
passes, but we have fast passes from Peter Pan, so we're gonna see if they'll maybe let us in. Just kidding, our fast pass is at 12.30 and not 12.10, so we're headed into Philhar Magic because once again there's air conditioning. Look at this line. What the heck? You know it's busy when. Away we go. With that, we are actually headed out of the Magic Kingdom right now. Um, I'll explain more when we get home because there's air conditioning and I will have cooled off a little bit. Hey guys, so uh, we're in the car now. As you guys can see, it's a lot later and we put jeans on. What? Whoa, <laughs> whoa, uh, plot twist, but um, no, so we're at a stoplight. But um, we came back from Magic Kingdom because we were hot. And like by saying that, it's not like we're and overreacting because we're, we're hot. <laughs> no, it's like we've spent a summer in Florida before, both of us, mm -hmm. and we had not felt this kind of heat last year. We hadn't. It was ridiculous. And we don't know why. We're not sure if it's because we're like still have a little bit of a cold or if we're just like not climatized because it got so hot so fast this year. Um, like today, Canadian temperatures is. Uh, 36 with a humidex of what did I say 42, 42 something like that yeah um, American temperatures it's over 100 so it's hot and coming from temperatures that were in like the tens when we left Canada and yes it's been a month now but like the drastic change you don't really get used to it and I literally had someone comment a video the other day that was like oh you guys should do a video how you adjust to the heat we don't and know we, we don't, haven't we don't <laughs> we haven't we don't have any tips because we just like don't and the sucky part is when you feel hot and sweaty and gross you don't want to be in the parks mm -hmm. because it's hot and sweaty and gross and it's just not fun yeah and you don't enjoy yourselves and we were talking about it and we're like we feel kind of forced to be in the parks in a way like there's a lot of almost peer pressure to do it and then we realized we came home because we were like no we like don't want to be here we're gonna do kind of what we want to do so we were sitting at home and we were having this feeling no sorry actually on our way home we went to 7-eleven <laughs> yeah we we did. okay so we went to 7-eleven because both of us walking um to the car from magic kingdom were like we both want something but we can't pinpoint what we want or like what we need we just really feel like we want something we were going to the car and we were like what do we want and Brooke just says how about a slurpee from 7-eleven and we both were like yes this is it this is what we want there's 7-eleven right next to Vista so we decided to go to that 7-eleven and there was what four or five flavors yeah why, why, you should explain the flavors <laughs> Banana, oh yeah, cherry blaster, yep. blueberry lavender. Um, what was it? There was like there was an unlabeled one. Oh, that was the one unlabeled, and I think it was also like a yellow color. Yeah, it was really gross. And a um, watery Coke flavor. So, needless to say, we were both very disappointed with those, and we kind of went home defeated. Um, we also like. Brooke lost her phone, it was in her pocket. Like, I was having some trouble. So we've just like, <laughs> we've had a day, it's guys. Been a day. Like a re, like it's just been a time. Yeah, so now we are in the car mm -hmm. and we are, we decided we are gonna go to Ulta and Target because we haven't been to either one of those since we've been here. And it's one of those treat yourself kind of days. We don't have a lot of money to spend, mm -hmm. but even just like, so called like window shopping yeah. is fine and it gives us something to do and it gets us out of the house and it gets us out of that like Disney bubble which I know some people love and adore but there's only so long you can spend in that before you go insane mm -hmm. so that's where we're going right now we found there's an Ulta next to a Target in Kissimmee and they're not that far away so that's exactly where we're going right now I think there's some other stores around there too to be honest yeah. and it's like a super Target so I don't even know what that means <laughs> but um yeah, we're just gonna go Target dollar section, um, see what we can do, but. Yeah, just a little bit of retail therapy without breaking the budget. Exactly. Paige has never been in an Ulta before. So excited. Are you ready? No. <laughs> no. We don't have Ultas in Canada. No. Um, they're getting them. We're getting like one soon. <laughs> I heard like the West Edmonton Mall and the Eaton Center rumored, not confirmed, I don't think. I have no idea. But uh, we're here for Paige's first time ever. Woohoo. Please don't cut fire. Oh my gosh, they do. Whoa. 
we love one target it's been a minute after they took them out of Canada RIP yes target dollar section woohoo okay so we are back and we have our little haul here we also got groceries and stuff which we just put away we didn't get a lot though just enough to like survive um so what do we want to do first um Alta sure Alta okay you go first because I feel like yours is a lot more exciting okay so Alta I got a beauty blender from Real Techniques wait oh yes queen Wow. Um, because I needed a new one because my other one was uh, molding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was a necessity. Then Brooke told me about this spray, the facial spray. So it's from Mario Badescu. 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 However you pronounce that. And. <laughs> What's it called? I guess. Hi. <laughs> um, and it is a facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. It's a purple one. And big purchase of the day. I'm very excited about it. It's really nice. I got the Morphe Fall Into Frost Palette, which I've never got anything from Morphe yet. So I'm very excited. It was $24, so not too bad. And look at these shades. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so glad that I didn't come with you. I know. <laughs> They're very nice. So I am so excited to use this. Anybody who knows me, which like none of you really do, but that's okay, <laughs> knows that I use all like shimmery shadows so like it's beautiful mm -hmm. this smells good at Ulta I also got one of the like facial spray things except I got the green one it's very warm right now because it was in the car <laughs> um so it has aloe cucumber and green tea in it I tried the pink one I like the pink one and now I thought I'd try the green one because I'm almost done with the pink one um so that's that and then this is $2.99 and it was a it's like a peel off mask from formula 1006 it says draw it all out Skin detoxifying, peeling, mask, charcoal, and plum. So uh, I'll try that out. It was $2.99, so I figured it could not go wrong. Um, and then I got a lipstick from NYX because it was also $2.99 on sale. And it's the NYX Liquid Suede um, Metallic Matte Lipstick. And it just says $37. I don't know if it has. Oh, um, Acme is the color. Acme? But it, Acme. Like the Looney Tunes thing? Oh. <laughs> A-C-M-E. <laughs> not Acme. I was like, mm, that's a shame. Acne, like the, okay. you know, the Looney Tunes brand? Yeah. Um, the worst. Hmm? Bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so it's yeah. like a metallic matte, but it's, I don't know, it's like a dark, pinky, shimmery. It's pretty. Yes. It's and amazing. that is literally all I got at Ulta. Paige's Target haul. <laughs> so, um, I was having a big problem with like my room not feeling kind of homey so I ended up buying this like throw pillow It's actually for like outdoors, but it was only eight dollars and it's super cute And I'm just gonna like put it on my bed to kind of like jazz up my room a little bit So I needed a second pool towel because I only have one and with the amount of times I've been going to the pool I have to use like a damp pool towel, which is kind of gross. gross So I got this one. I don't know how much it was. It was no, like six dollars. Six bucks. So yeah. pretty cheap. Very soft. Cute. <laughs> Um, ooh, this is a good one, I like this one. Also, we have this thing now in our apartment where we're starting to get like designated mugs so that everyone can have like their own ones that nobody steals each other's. And this one, it's very large, copper and blue, and it says, as I suspected, I was right all along. Oh my god, I need a mug like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was only $6. We almost got Almost got almost giant mug. And by giant, I mean like the like size of a head. liter of mug. Why? Because <laughs> they seemed cool, and then we decided that was a poor choice. So yeah, because we they were like ten dollars. So. We also almost got tamagotchis, and then we didn't do that for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the last thing, but not least, is mm -hmm. this cute dress that I'm, I think I'm gonna wear in my service celebration, and it it's like. Head. Kind of looks like it kind of makes me have boobs, which is nice because I don't get that a lot. And it has these little fluffy sleeves, and it's like cute, and it's not too long on me, and it's like rainbowy and stripy. So yes, there we go. Great. I got it. Mm -hmm. um, this jumpsuit for thirteen dollars because it's supposed to be twenty six, but it rang up as thirteen, so I was totally okay with it. And it has like mesh top so part, cute. and then the pants look like this, and it's like capri-ish style. It's cool, it's pretty, and it's very light too, so I can like wear it in Florida without an issue. Mm -hmm. I like it. 
I appreciate it. I got a uh, power bar because I need one because that is behind my bed and I need to get it out because I'm plugging everything in and I'm constantly having to like pull my bed out and then push it back. <laughs> so um, this just makes my life like 10,000% easier because it, it was becoming a problem. Um, so that's just that. And then I also got a mug. I can't not have a mug. And it says love is a four-legged word and has a bunch of paw prints on it and it's pink <laughs> and it just reminds me of my puppy at home and I miss him. So uh, I got the mug because I, I love him. So um, yeah. there we go. That is our haul. Um, the rest of the night we're probably not going to be doing a whole lot. Uh, maybe swimming if that, uh, probably swimming actually, but we'll see. Um, we do work early tomorrow, so we won't stay up too late. So I will end this video out here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you go to my channel and subscribe since I post videos every Monday to Friday. So make sure you go and check those out. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you liked our haul. Um, but thank you guys again so much for watching and have a magical rest of your day.